what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel and to some more of the witcher 3 wild hunt now i gotta be honest with you i have not played this game in what is right now may <laughs> in like four months <laughs> um, ever since the year started i think i did a, a one or two episodes well recorded one or two episodes of this game and then games like uh evil west uh, Dead Space remake, Hogwarts Legacy, you name it, man. I, I got stuck playing those games on my channel and put The Witcher down for a good while. I did go in and kind of messed around like maybe two minutes <laughs> with the controls, but I'm still gonna. I know I'm still gonna struggle a little bit, but I think it was time to come back and, and finish the series. Um, you guys won't notice because one video is gonna go right after another. And the absence of playing this game is not even going to show. But trust me, I have not played this game like in four months, guys. But thank you guys so much for being here. With that said, let's get to it. Man, it's been a while, guys. <laughs> like I said in the intro, you guys will notice <laughs> my absence from this game. But trust me, I've been away from the game for a while. So let's let's... There we go. I thought I forgot how to open doors. <laughs> Let's go meet Jen Jennifer. Find and help Jennifer. Disturbance. What's up, buddy? Actually, it's over here. Oh, man. I don't remember the camera sensitivity being so sensitive. If I remember correctly, you have a discussion with Jennifer right now about your past lost memories like uh, in, the, in the second game if you guys haven't played it uh, Geralt loses his memory I believe it's the second one but he hooks up with Tr Triss have relationships and all that and Yennefer Jesus it. Christ shit. Uh -oh. uh, Yennefer keeps bringing it up always but it, well, he established in this game that oh, I was a good boy I was uh Yennefer's man and Yennefer's man only. So hopefully she's a lot nicer and knows that I've been nothing but faithful to my lady in black. <coughs> Damned crystal! <coughs> you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys, well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. Don't trust us, heard what you did with the bed. <laughs> yeah, she threw the bed right out the window, I remember that. Um, let's just not remind her of anything that happened between me and Triss. And let's just stay away from that. Let's just <laughs> pick this one. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Taken care of. Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby. Generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to say that. <laughs> Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? 
I freaking love Gerald. He's he gets so excited. Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gerald. That's funny. But it, it's 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 good. We uh kinda Man, this sensitivity is it's driving me crazy. Camera wise. Yeah, we kinda sidestepped any conversation with Triss, which involving Triss, which is good. Usually when you have relations with Triss in this game, um, she'll bring it up. She'll bring up past the past things you've done with Triss and things that you've done in this game. And then she'll teleport you like a couple miles from the castle and then you have to swim back this way. All right, find the source of the magical disturbance using the... Uh, I'm not going to say that name. <laughs> um, oh yeah. Signal's growing stronger. I think it's over here. If I remember correctly. Can't be far now. So, Yennefer found a volunteer to walk around with a chirping stick after there all. There we go. Shh. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Um, no. See you later, Vesemir. That's weird. Uh -huh. Getting warmer. Warmer. Haunted Witchering just never Hot. took off. Hmm. Ah, there you are. Uh -huh. Getting warmer. <laughs> warmer. He's going. So funny how certain dialogue lines coming from there. cross each other with him. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves. Just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. <laughs> Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Nothing here. Nope, oh, put it away. Alright, now we gotta go back to speak to the love of Yennefer. I don't know how many of you guys have seen the trailer for, uh, the, I think it's season 3 of The Witcher on Netflix. Oh, I am excited for that. It kind of sucks that Andrew Cavill is not going to come back. I think he'll be season 3 and 4. I'm not entirely sure. Or just finish off season 3. But I know they replaced him, which really sucks. But at least they didn't cancel The Witcher altogether. Because that show, it's freaking phenomenal. Well, I like it. So I can't wait until the, to the new season come out. All right. Let's Thank you. Seems to be working. Talk to Jennifer. Now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope. Pulling your ponytail, I suppose. Lambert doesn't know. <laughs> Let's do this. You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so. Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. But no matter. More importantly, I shall finally be able to contact Ida. The Ida? Elvin Sage? What do you want from her? Stay and you'll learn for yourself. Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kednell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Hey there, Ida. Geralt. It matters not, Yennefer. I've grown accustomed to human decorum. But what did I say? I something? said hi. We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? 
Vafel Elen, Ked Milfoi, Gled of Dawn Eptenid, Bondro Isne Yachus. I take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse, but I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. Guessing you want something in return. What's the problem? So what is it? The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age, the time of the end, or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar. Despite my asking you not to. What? What? What did I do? <laughs> I literally just stood here, said hi to the pretty lady, and that's it. Yeah, I'm not gonna apologize. Don't really see why I should apologize. I know sorceresses expect me to bow down before them. So you refuse to bow and thumb your nose at them instead? Very mature. <sighs> oh, enough. All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. Man, that sorceries are mean. Standing here minding my own business. I think the only problem was that Listen, I'm a guy. Everyone. All is in place. We may be here. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Escort, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. Mm, what's this other method? Yeah, what is it? What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn, with Uma, or whoever hides inside him. Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do, been outvoted. Let's go. Do as you will. But in a moment, Geralt and I must talk. Ooh, sounds serious. Come on, Lambert. See you in a bit, Geralt. <laughs> Those dudes are just talking smack. They've never been in love, that's why. This is what love looks like. 
You have to follow your lady. What I do now, <laughs> something. <laughs> Let's go with this one. All right. What did I do this time? No, nothing. I just wanted to take you aside, without cluing the others into what we're up to. Mm-hmm. And what are we up to? Sneaking upstairs to make love. Wow. You don't exactly mince words. I'm too old to play the blushing bride. Unless you ask nicely. Shall we go? You can rejoin them afterwards. All right. Hour. If if another uh, relationship scenes comes up right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, edit the video and just skip it. I don't wanna I don't want YouTube to uh, I'll hold you to that. Give me a strike or block my video. You know how it goes. I usually don't show these scenes. Well, well. Lovebirds decided to join us. Enjoy yourselves? You heard the answer to that question, Lambert. Of course. Lambert. We were just talking. Besides, not our business. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Hmm, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends, Novigrad and Plowing, how's Triss? You son of a gun. <laughs> Why you gotta put me on the spot like that? I was talking about Uma. Yeah, let's just ignore we were the question. talking about Uma, weren't we? The night is young. Got time to talk about everything. Lambert, not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious. Let's talk. Yen. What do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You fucking what?! Uh, yeah, you gotta chill, buddy. Mind your manners, Lambert. Did you hear what- Not gonna ask you again. Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first- Hmm. How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. It'll be the first trial in years, decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See? Till now, we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Gerald, the famous witch hunter, dragon slayer, monster killer. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never Getting do. told when to go to bed. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Esco got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh, now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. 
Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. You know what guys i think i get a, a special card from him if i beat them i'm gonna go ahead and do this and i'll see you guys in a minute all righty guys that boy did not send a game, chance <laughs> especially that move with the esco he doesn't have any praise just poor well, i guess it was uh part to a uh, part of a quest line cool all right, let's go to sleep. All right, guys. Bedtime. Speak for yourself. The night's still young as I see it. <laughs> but we're not. And tomorrow's a big day. Fine. Drinking with my mirror image is just no fun. At least it wasn't last time. See? Even you can't stand yourself. Good night. up and at him. Mm. Take it you had a productive evening? Yes. We talked about Uma till late. So I guess you didn't get a chance to see to the beams in the tower. Uh, no. But we'll uh, get to that, I promise. Right, Lambert? You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first. But as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait, why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Esco, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop. Okay, gather, excuse me, gather the necessary ingredients and brew the decoctions of the grasses, okay. Alrighty. Nice. Brew decoctions of the grasses. So, hold on, over here. Um, there it is. Easy. It may seem like uh, hard to do, guys, but it's pretty simple. I'm an expert of uh, in making potions. Potions ready. <laughs> Tools too. Good. Vesemir. 
pokeweed extract to deaden the pain. I know I've done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. The hook we'd work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock, killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. I had hoped... I had hoped I would never have to watch this again. Why'd you keep the table then? Geralt, next potion. True, but I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... <laughs> Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags on it. That's Siri in there. She could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? I trust Yen. She knows what she's doing. Don't doubt that. But do we know what she's doing? She tell you how likely this is to work? Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. No offense, but I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. I'd prefer that too. I bet you would. Now stand back. <laughs> Gotta be overprotective of my lady. We're given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen, you're dozing off. No, I'm just resting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. Pinching's apparently effective. Hmm. Later, perhaps. For now, talk to me. Tell me a story. Heard about the time I ice skating with Siri. Ever tell you about Dandelion buying me a sword? <laughs> Let's go with the Siri story. Heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating? No, not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first. Then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to. I'd never been before. But she insisted. As soon as we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, hollering, No, not like that. Footwork. One, then the other. Crossover. No, wrong. 
Break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say, from then on. He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. Hey, is that guy that was with Siri? Avalok? You know him? Yes. An elf. An elf. A sage. Where is Siri? In the Isle of Mists. But it's not. She's not safe. The hunt. Isle of Mists, where is it? Everywhere. And nowhere. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen. Arwen. Saram. And Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. I tried to protect her, but the curse, the hunt, has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. But if she leaves, they will detect her at once. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this, Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? Hmm. Yeah, we'll be waiting. We'll be waiting for them, swords in hand. Yes. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here. And the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise. And they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them. We five? In a crumbling castle? Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Yeah, you go. Fine. Gather some I'll friends. Get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avalak to care for. He's certain to die without gentle, gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. 
The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Boy, jealous of, of guys there. Don't be jealous, fellas. Alright, don't be jealous. Hey guys, sorry about that weird cut. I had to kind of do something and stop the video right at the end of that. Uh, <laughs> right at the end of um, that cutscene. But we are gonna talk. Where is it? Oh, it's this one, right? Yeah, we're gonna go talk to Sultan Will or our all our uh, crew here. But I'm gonna end the video there, guys. The last Witcher video was over 50 minutes. Um, I've been trying not to make my videos that long. <laughs> I know this episode was pure dialogue, a lot of story, but dude, it's a Witcher three. They they can tell a story like everything. It, there's not no dull moment in this game. It's I didn't kill no enemies, I didn't go fight a any monsters, but the episode was full of story content, very exciting content. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and hey, I'll have to get, uh, get some help to fight the wild hunt, huh? and then we'll, we'll see if we uh, find Siri in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you, and I'll see you guys next time.